being a transgender driver on the platform is certainly not an easy thing as you will find out uber deactivated this transgender driver and then she turned to the media anytime you have a story or an issue i highly suggest you turn to the media or to social media getting an apology from the company after she says the ride share removed her from the platform because she's transgender well, the company reinstated that driver after Channel 2's Michael yeah. Cherry started asking after questions After you were about exposed, that. He's Cara. live in Dunwoody, and Mike, the driver, still has concerns. Apologize. She does, Linda. For more than a year, she was out here on the road, unable to pick up Uber fares because of what she says was blatant discrimination. But she reached out to me. She had a phone recording with an Uber representative that raised some red flags. I shared it with the company that raised some red flags for hmm. them, too. What made it valid to deactivate you? Uber driver Ty Ruth recorded this exchange he had with a company representative after she learned the rideshare app had removed her from his roster. Here was the rep's explanation for it. So many riders were complaining about uh, the situation about your about your gender. Ruth is a transgender woman. I always knew I was a female when I was younger growing up. And she says she's endured discrimination along the way but never like this. I just think it was just really just downright nasty. You know, it was crude. I mean, you're going to mess with someone's income. I reached out to Uber about the phone call and the removal. They sent me a statement that says, quote, what's been reported is extremely concerning. Yeah, but they just deactivate. The they just deactivate. Experience. And then they the information the customer only act. The agent relayed to the driver was incorrect. And after investigating further, we have reactivated the driver's right. account. We are concerned third-class citizens. Ruth says she's watching as nearly three dozen states, including Georgia, are proposing anti-trans legislation. Lawmakers killed several proposed bills last legislative session. We're not in Saudi Arabia. We're not in other countries that would stone you to death for being who you are. We're in America. And it just scares me. Now, Ruth is now driving again for Uber, but she says over this past year or so, she believes she lost upwards of sixty to eighty thousand dollars in fares. Pay her back. Again, Uber reiterated that this is not in concert with this policy. Well, I've done with you, County. I'm Mike Chenick, Channel Two Action. So you have to you have to fight back, folks. That, that's that's the only thing I can say here is that this type of abuse should not be. Uh, tolerate it for one second, right? You have the media, you have social media, you have a story, act on it. And then in this case, this individual had sixty to eighty thousand dollars in damages. I've always preached since day one, since I started this channel, I've showed you how to take your cases to small claims court, to court, fight back, get that money back, expose them. Sadly, sadly, they only act once you have exposed a story and in this case this individual is lucky to get back into a ride share they deactivate before looking at the issue right they just pull the trigger and deactivate you and you literally have to fight back media is a great way to fight back court is a great way to fight back shout out to my sponsor display ride ride share monitoring platform got to have a dash cam in your car that's uploading all footage into the cloud and another super cool uh, gig company to work for curial anything delivered if you don't want to deal with humans and you want to um, do deliveries instead of driving people from a to b please consider curial and go and download the app have a great day and leave your feedback like and subscribe my friends